Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about iPhone 14 and all its in and outs. So if you've recently acquired one and are searching for ways to maximize its potential, let me share with you some of the top tips and tricks that you should definitely explore. And before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to stay updated on everything tech. To start with, Apple has implemented a range of impressive features in iOS 16, with the iPhone 14 being particularly well equipped to take advantage of them. One standout feature is the ability to refresh and update device aesthetics, which can look stunning when executed well by developers. This feature is native to the iPhone 14 and requires regular updates to maintain its effectiveness. Another handy feature is the ability to view Wi-Fi passwords. You can do this by navigating to settings and clicking on the password icon for the relevant device. Also, low data mode and other options can be enabled in this section. Moving on, drag and drop functionality is also available on this device. This feature allows you to hold down an icon and move it to different locations on the device such as creating a new note and dropping a link. And when it comes to the iPhone 14's camera, it has undergone several improvements, including the option to use the wider ultrawide camera. You can access a range of impressive features by opening the camera up, with the action mode being a standout among them. To enable this mode, you simply need to click on the video and look for the icon in the top left corner next to the flash. This mode produces super stabilized videos, which can be particularly useful when filming while moving, as it reduces shakiness significantly. However, it is important to note that using this mode constantly may not always be the best idea as it can impact your storage and create an odd visual effect. And another significant improvement is the cinematic mode that allows you to shoot up to 4K video with a blurred background, creating a cinematic effect. This feature can be accessed by clicking on the HD option in the top right corner and switching to 4K. While shooting at 60 frames per second is not currently possible with this mode, it is still a cool option that not many people may be aware of. There are a range of camera options available in the iPhone settings that are worth exploring. For example, you can adjust the format to most compatible high efficiency for a better experience or change photos to JPEGs. Video and slow motion recording options can also be adjusted, while the preserved settings and live photo options can be enabled or disabled according to preference. It is also possible to enable action mode, but it is recommended to only activate this feature when needed as leaving it on all the time can have a negative impact on your storage as I previously mentioned. And finally, the latest iPhone 14 and iOS 16 now include live text and videos in addition to live text and photos. For example, if you've taken a video in class of the board, you can copy all text on that board easily and note them elsewhere. I personally think this feature is the best and would help a lot of students out there and make their school life a bit easier. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found these tips helpful and learned something new about your device. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions as I love getting to interact with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.